What do you? <laughs> great question to start off with. <laughs> <laughs> Which one are you? <laughs> well, because you never know who you're going to be playing. <laughs> yeah. Right. And you go you go off air for a couple of seasons yeah. and then come back as a different character. Sure. That's true. Since it's happened to you, obviously. Uh, <laughs> before we started rolling. Sure. What was it? What's it like sometimes to be a part of these sets and to get the scripts when you do and to have to memorize? Because it, it, people don't realize like you should. Yeah. Five days out of the week, sure. these are yeah. new scripts every day. Yeah. What is it like to be performing that, especially like with your situation where you play one character, then you yeah. jump to another? Well, may, may, I, may yeah, I, I? I'll just say, uh, as you, because you, you, would, Lindsay started doing this long before I ever did, right? You, you were, you were already like a soap pro, daytime pro, by the time I showed up, and. I always thought I wouldn't be any good at it, and the one that I almost did it years and years and years ago to fill in and cover when um, one of the actors on days couldn't um, work for a week, and then luckily I didn't have to go in because I could not do. I couldn't learn the lines in time. I just they sent me the scripts and I pretended that I, I lied and said, "Yeah, I learned it. I'll, like, give me a call. I'll come in." And luckily at the end of the week they paid me the money, um, you know, to do a job that I actually did not do. And then luckily, years later, they brought me back to actually be on the show and called my bluff. And I realized that when you really, really have to do something, when your career, your livelihood, your self-respect depends on it, then you can find a way. And over the weeks, months, and then years, like you just get more and more efficient at it to the point where you can be like Lindsay, who literally absorbs, like osmotically absorbs the script like as soon as she touches it. And I'm finally catching up to there. Um, yeah, it's the more you can relax and the more you can just be kind to yourself and, and, and understand it's a very difficult thing to memorize a huge amount of dialogue and regurgitate it very quickly with emotion and with clarity that people can understand. Right? As long as you're kind to yourself about it, you can do it. Yeah. And you know, like when you get to work with like some of your best friends and you trust that. Even if you make a mistake, they're not going to blame you for it. They're not going to get mad at you. They've got endless patience because they all know how difficult it is. So we all just take care of each other and get it done. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of agree. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think in my experience too with actors that don't work in this genre and like well or known bigger right. actors, anytime I've interacted with them, they're immediately like, is it really one take? Yeah. Do you really? How many episodes? Thirty do you pages do? a day. What? You do two episodes in a day. Yeah. Like it really is that thing, and you just get used to it. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm eleven, almost twelve years in daytime now, yeah. and. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think you just get used to it. I always, my advice always when people come into it for the first time is like, figure out what kind of learner you are. Right. Are you a visual learner? Are you an audio learner? And do it immediately. Yeah. Find the most. Um, but yeah, it's also kind of a fun acting challenge. That's how I always look at it. I used to get mad and be like, I need more time. I need to, you know, I want to make it good. So now it's just become more like, how good can I make it in one right. take? Yeah. Can I get there tears wise in just half a second? Well, to, to that as well, like on a, on a primetime show or in a big movie or whatever, it's great to get multiple takes. And it's great to have the feedback from a director that can micromanage your performance or get multiple options so when they're in the edit they can build a performance just the way they want it. But you, as an actor, are then like giving a huge amount of control and trust over to that director, that production, whatever. Whereas the one thing that is fantastic about getting one or two takes, like just going for it, is you have an enormous amount of like control over how your character is perceived. Yeah. And when they trust you, when the show trusts you to, to you know, swing, like Drake always says, swing for the fences. When the show trusts you to do that, it's the best feeling you can have. Yeah. It? Like, it's like, it feels like we're doing big movies when Ron Sage saying it. Like, uh, I remember one of the actors uh, that used to be on the show, she said to me, like, it feels like Shakespeare when you're saying it. So it's like, <laughs> it's, be it's a beautiful feeling. But when we describe what we do to friends that do like prime time or movies or whatever, it's like we're describing one of their anxiety dreams. Yeah. It's like a stress nightmare. Like the amount of time, the amount of yeah, material, really, the turnaround. It's every all of other it, nightmare, like, uh, actor's nightmare. No, like you see them like breaking out in cold sweats. <laughs> and, yeah, so. so talking about, I heard you say, how, how much can I get that tear to come out? Yeah. So how close is this to professional wrestling at this point? <laughs> I mean, That's the comparison I always used to make. That was my big epiphany, sorry. That was my big epiphany about working on daytime was that it was more like 
being in the WWE than it was like being on a, a normal scripted show that would like just had like seasons yeah, and episodes. Like theater to me. Yeah, but, but in terms of like how the career works as well, like the, oh, the yeah, way you work, the, like working with the fans, ex like embracing the fans, yeah. working. You can totally make storylines happen on a meta like, level. Yeah, yeah like, like through like your interactions. If you play enough eye contact like, with each other minute. in scenes, they'd be like. Wait a maybe they're not siblings maybe they're <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean but it's true like it's that they've had to unre unrelate people on this show before they've been like no just kidding you're not aunt and nephew yeah. oops <laughs> let's not dig into that but also like with um with wrestling it's like male melodrama right and it's about I've you know these that. right and now we're like yeah. you know like much that, which is great, but, like, <laughs> but typically it'd always been like these, you know, big sweaty dudes taking yeah. care of their business and like, you know, getting revenge and and it's all this like emotional melodrama. And so with us, it's the same except we don't fight, we all kiss. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I have one more question for you. It's about today, days of days. What does it feel like to be able to interact with the fans, especially with generations of fans? That is the best thing ever, and I always say this: like, I wish the one-on-one -on -one stuff with the fans was much longer than it is. Um, I love hearing every single story. I love every single. I watch this for fifty years. I watch with my my yeah. mom. I watch this with my grandma. Um, like this is how we all bonded. Like I, I love hearing it so much. I love hearing where people came from. I love hearing like any sort of like little story they want to tell me. I want to hear every single thing. So it's just so much fun, and we don't really get to do press like this. Yeah. So it's just so much fun to like get people to get to talk to people about this thing that we do that we all love doing but it is also kind of bizarre yeah and so like when other people love the bizarre thing yeah. that we do we're like i feel like i'm in this club with all these like each fan i'm like you get it because you, you know actors are like it doesn't take much to make actors complain and um it's you know, that like, thing where so how do you get an actor to complain give them a job you give them a job yeah. <laughs> and so like you know when we're all together we tend to whinge or when we're with our families or whatever we're not talking about the show because they don't watch it or they you know they don't care but when when we're around the fans we get to talk about the show in the way that you want to talk about the show yeah. which is with enthusiasm and joy and you know just celebration right and so it's hard not to be nice to nice people and everybody's so nice at days like this so yeah it's really special awesome. well thank you so much for stopping with me thank i'm a big fan of the show oh, been thank you. since the 80s nice oh, oh, thank you've you. been through some like stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah some serious stuff, stuff. <laughs> especially during my high school years so oh yeah yeah looking yeah looking forward to seeing more <laughs> from the show oh, so thank you so much <laughs>